I'm Darren Marillia uh, from Dolphin Bay Chemicals. We're in Tanzania this week. We are spending time in the uh, wooden poles uh, sector. Um, very excited about the future of the sector in Tanzania um, and excited to be part of it. Uh, please uh, watch this documentary. Um, I trust it will be enlightening and uh, do enjoy it. Uh, New Forest Company Tanzania Limited deals with um, uh, pole business, uh, which is actually uh, CCA treatment, uh, CCA wooden treatment. And we always refer to the customer standard. Here in Tanzania, we just comply with uh, S11 standard, which is a Tanesco uh, standard uh, reviewed in uh, 2017 October. And that one has got different parameters to be uh, followed. That one includes to ensure that the moisture content is at least is 25 and below, 25% and below. Um, it has got uh, chemical retention, which is actually 24 kilogram per cubic meter. Uh, uh, that's the minimum. And um, actually the penetration should be um, minimum 20 millimeters as long as they find they define uh, uh, the subwood thickness uh, in that standard. So we ensure that we ensure that um, the full subwood is treated just to avoid the failure of our wooden poles in the field. I believe in this business it is very important for us to comply with any specification including the S11 that Tanesco has given us. This is to ensure that our product and is, meets the quality that is demanded worldwide. The, the quality also ensures us for, for us to have a future in the market here. If we do not uh, comply to these specifications, then Tanesco may opt to source these products somewhere else where they do comply with this. Um, we're treating against S11 standards and we have a ISO 9001 certification which uh, ensures a consistent result and a consistent quality that meets and exceeds our clients' expectations. Also, we're the only ones in Tanzania to have a pulse kiln, uh, which drives the uh, pulse to a consistent moisture content and help us to achieve a, uh, a solid result for our pulse. We have a company of Pulse Tanzania. We have a Training, now Kusmamia Ubora and Guso, it is a CC company from Paul Tanzania, who has to comply the S11. Yes, we received the support from Dolphin Bay companies to install our treatment plants, our lab equipment, and also the Dolphin Bay company training us on how to use that plant and those equipment in the laboratory. Dolphin Bay is a, a company, uh, I personally, and Dolphin Bay is a company that is very passionate about wood preservation. Very passionate about wood preservation, um, and in particular here in East Africa. Um, we, we've spent our time here really doing our level best to support the local industry. Um, in terms of making sure we do things and supply support services that, that can sustain the industry. Um, so we get involved in um, in services like, uh, apart from just supplying the chemicals, we get involved in process support, treatment process support, um, operator training, um, engineering support. If there are any treatment plants that need upgrading, um, if there are new treatment plants required, um, we, we get involved in that, in supporting that. Uh, we provide environmental auditing, the products we supply are classified as hazardous, so it's important for us to look after the environment and look after the people working there. So another part of the support that we do is environmental ed uh, auditing. Um, so th that's just a, a brief outline of, of some of the services we, we, we offer. 
We have been uh, receiving our chemicals from uh, Dolphin Bay and we have been a customer of Dolphin Bay for the past six years now. We chose to go for Dolphin Bay because of the support that we have. They're not only our supplier of CCA, but they do give us a lot of support in many other processes. For example, in our treatment process, they have helped us a lot in uh, understanding the treatment process, how it's supposed to be done properly, the training of our operators and many different aspects of handling the chemicals and the logistics they provide for us to ensure that we always have CCA when we need it here at the factory. Well, um, Dauphin Bay has been uh, our supplier since 2016. So it's about seven years now and we've been uh, sticking to him uh, since then. It's not always be easy to, uh, to, 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 to select a, a good supplier in terms, of, uh, in terms of service. So there are many criteria to look at when you choose a supplier, but all those criteria uh, collectively um, would make an organization to be uh, competitive, to be uh, efficient and to be profitable. So Dauphin Bay has been uh, actually fulfilling uh, those criteria which made us uh, to, to be competitive, uh, to be efficient in terms of quality and to be profitable. Because um, they, 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 they not only supplying us the, the, the chemical, but they provide even uh, other supports beyond that. Uh, we've been a customer now for six, seven years. Uh, twofold, huh? Um, firstly, because of the uh, consignment stock. Uh, Having that type of security within a country with logistical issues, um, it helps us to uh, maintain production. Um, and secondly, uh, what helps as well is um, your understanding of the market we operate in. Um, you have been uh, working in Tanzania as well, so you, you understand the challenges we are facing. Invite the student all over the country, even outside the country, to come at the footic and get the training about the treatment, the treatment plant, treatment laboratory operations. Also, we invite the wood industry, specifically poles industry in Tanzania, outside Tanzania, to take our students because we know after them being graduated, they will be very competent in the treatment plant industry.